What's up y'all, it's your boy King Yadiyah aka King Solomon staying wise in life and in these markets like the ancient king did. So I'm gonna do a little trade recap or it's not really a recap, it's like a it's a live trade, it's an active trade. So um if you watch my previous video, I was long GBP USD and um let's see, let's go back to the US dollar right now. So this is the 4 hour chart. Yesterday we were kind of around this area so not really much movement. No, I think we were up here a little bit when I took the trade like around 11.698. Let's see around um, that's 9 o'clock. So yeah, somewhere around this cattle here. We were right here. So um, I took the the GBP USD long on the breakout so right now we're still pushing down on the US dollar but right now we're approaching the support level so um, we could expect some resistance here you know because look at this every time it hits this level we get the push up so if we really get the break of this support level we can head down lower you know Excuse me. Sometimes when I'm talking on the mic and stuff like that, you just all of a sudden I want to start burping and shit. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I gotta get accustomed to like you know speaking like this for videos and shit like that. So yeah, um, if we get this breakthrough, the support level, and we get to head to this support zone here, that would be cool. You know what I mean? Because the fundamentals on the on the U.S. dollar is you know low interest rates the feds is trying to keep the dollar low so the stock market could keep on pushing up so you know they're trying to keep the dollar cheap but for some reason you know when you get cheap money everybody starts buying it so while we were down we were like in this down channel let me try and make this smaller we were in a proper down channel like look at all that just moving down nicely right and as soon as the feds decide to you know lower interest rates and stuff like that people just start buying the dollar so now we start having this sideways movement it's still weak i mean people are still i guess it's still trying to move down but you know somehow we got this buying pressure coming in now so that's sending it sideways you know even trying to push up to the 38 percent fib weight rejected and now we're coming back down so hopefully the overall um the overall idea what the feds are trying to push kind of prevails and you know they'll take care of that like if they want this to push lower they know how to do it so as of now the buyers are trying to do their thing but the feds might step in and you know push that lower all right so that's the fundamentals on the let's see let's do the one hour chart you see we're we're really close to the support zone so yeah that's the fundamentals on the us dollar so yesterday um i took this trade here at um, let's see I took this trade around what was my entry price 1.37594 so where's that that was the break right here 1.37 right so right here I took this break right here right and you know we pushed up we had this little congestion and stuff like that and I guess what time was this this was like around five in the morning so around here i was like damn man i'm so tired you know i just wanna i just wanna go get some sleep you know what i mean so i had my stop loss i think somewhere down here or something like that but if i'm not looking at my trade i'm not gonna leave my stop loss to like to come and get hit you know what i'm saying and i'm already in profit so i was like you know what let me set my stop loss right here let me see i put my stop loss at 1.606 
right like a right here right and that shit come and stop me out last night while i was sleeping you know what i mean because you know with the spreads and stuff like that you know it got me right and look how close that shit was you know what i'm saying and when i woke up i was like damn man like look at this shit here man because you know it hit me and then it took me out and then it started pushing up so i was like whatever man you know if it's pushing up it's gonna give me another entry right so this was my entry here again you know it broke out from this congestion i took the long here again and right now you know we in profit i'm just waiting to see what's happening you know and my plan is the same from before i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait for structure to be formed like you see how the structure here is going sideways and then you have in this next breakout here so if it breaks out right comes back and we test this area again right so let me pull out this So let's say we break out from this area right here and we push up, right? If it pulls back and retests this area and holds the support of this area right here, that's perfect for me to take another buy entry because I know it's holding the support. So I can put my stop loss here, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it gets to like my, um, this is my break even um, right here. This is my break even. Um, alert so this is equivalent to my stop loss right so I have a 50 pip stop loss and this is 50 pips up so if we get to this area here I can break even my trade and then when it retests this area I can add to my trade and just keep this as my stop loss and just just look to you know trail my stop as we go up because I'm not planning on um on really day trading this I think I'm gonna swing trade this because we've been in congestion so long I'm thinking we're gonna get a nice little breakout from here you know so I'm trying to catch I'm trying to catch it to my 50% tip line all the way up here so let's see how much pips is that all right so we're looking at 502 pips so somewhere around there you know so I'm gonna be adding to my position. This could end up to be like, you know, a really big trade because I'm gonna be constantly adding to my position until, you know, I'm maxed out and I can't really add anymore and just let that ride, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the trade plan on GBP USD. you know what I mean? Let's go down to the 15 minutes, see how that's looking. All right, so we're getting a little, um. A little weak rejection here, a little pullback, but I wanted to come back and test this area here, this top right here, or this area right here. And this green line here is my volume pointer control, so that's where you get a lot of buying and selling happening, so you know it creates that line there for me, the volume pointer control, so a lot of activity happen here. So if it even comes back down to this level, you know it's perfect because I'm getting more I'm getting more room to move up, you know. Plus, it's a closer stop loss, so the closer it gets to the bottom here and rejects and moves up, hey, my stop loss is right there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't risking much, so yeah, that's the trade plan on GBP USD. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you'll get something from it. I hope you'll don't be copying trades and stuff if you're a new trader. Don't copy these trades. You gotta, you gotta um, get your own technical analysis, your own fundamental analysis, and stuff like that, and trade your own trades. You know what I'm saying? So that's my little disclaimer. This is, I'm not financial advisor. I'm not giving you advice or nothing like that. This is just me journaling my trades. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do your due diligence and create your own trades. You know what I'm saying? So you can have confidence in it. So if it goes wrong, you have nobody else to blame. It's just you. You know what I'm saying? All right, yo, let's your boy King Yadia, a.k.a. King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets and trying to hit these take profits. You know what I mean? Stay blessed.